Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. And if you are a long wave amateur, if you're a long wave a fan, I mean, in North America, we know that pretty much all long wave is dedicated to non directional beacons and kind of different, interesting, and weird and um, undefined uh, technologies of uh, long wave for different companies and amateur radio there's amateur radio bands in there there's low power part 15 stuff in there there's of course non-directional beacons but this has to do with what's happening in canada so maybe you'd like to dx canada on long wave well if you do there's a nice list here which is the canadian long wave facilities by frequency and it's updated quite regularly. The last update here is dated January 20, 20, uh, 2000. But what's interesting here is that it has stuff that's very recent. So, for example, here, VX9 ILV, we were talking about that. Some people recently ID'd this. So it might look like a old page, but there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. A lot of NDBs or not, you know, non-directional beacons and so on. I think it's still a list that's worth it to be uh, checked out, and um, you know, we'll see um, where's uh, what's in there, what's still active. I mean, 2000 is still 20 years ago, but a lot of even though there are some beacons that did sign off, there's still a lot of stuff to be looked at in here. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we need to look at it. I will also post another link, which is the uh, uh, long wave beacons list from another site. And it overlaps, so there's a lot of stuff that uh, is in there. That list is actually more, um, I would say, uh, updated. It's, it's, it's more factual, actual. So basically, you might have more information and more stuff in there that maybe is gone or not. So uh, both lists are going to be in there. So the other one is, um, if we go to Google here, long wave beacon list. Let's check it out here. So this is from another site, which is DX Info Center. This list is updated regularly, and this one is October 2nd, 2020. So you might like to see this list of beacons everywhere that are still activated and still working so uh, this I'll post the link to both websites and um, you know in North America there's no broadcasts on long wave it's not like in Europe in the Middle East where there are some stations broadcasting long wave style here we never had that in North America so it's um, it's kind of interesting to see these frequencies where they uh, are actually broadcasting. And um, we'll see what we can hear on the bands. And I think it's interesting. So both lists of North American non-directional beacons and Canadian long-wave facilities will be posted in the uh, description just below the video. So why not tune your receiver to long-wave? And see what you can hear. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.